Okay, so the decking's been built, which is which is good. Well, I say built; it's almost built. Um, a few little touch-ups to go, some of the uh, balustrades and so on and so forth. But it's coming together quite nicely. Well, at that moment now, we'll have to think about furniture for the decking. Now, my choices were: I either go out and buy something from a garden centre. Typically, it's rattan type. Uh, furniture, either real or effect, um, but I find them very plasticky um, and they're all kind of similar and I just didn't want to follow the crowd um, so I thought um, let's try being creative. So what did I come up with? Well I drove down to the coast after um, getting a, a, a winning bid and it's amazing what you can find. If you seek out, you know, second-hand shops or what have you, I ended up and I found these 35-year-old chairs, approximately. One was like a two-seater sofa, and one is a one-seat sofa. Now, it's going to be a bit of a restoration project. Um, the two of them combined, about £31, and they came with a nifty little footstool as well. Um, so this is good news. So, um, looking over the chairs, well, as you can see, a little worse for wear. The cushions are well past their best. Um, faded, worn, torn. Uh, yeah, definitely going to have to be re-upholstered. Um, the foam itself felt pretty good. And the on this chair, uh, the springs were fine. This is a side view of the two-seat sofa. Um, it's been sanded, uh, which is absolutely great. Um, but uh, again, uh, needed some re-gluing, uh, some new dowel uh, placements. Uh, but it's sanded quite nicely. It's ready for a coat of paint. Uh, but again, the springy parts. Uh, fabric springs will need replacing as well. Let's see how we get on. The cushions. Alright, so the cushions themselves, as you saw, um, badly frayed, you know, I mean that's a 35 year old cushion, you know, it's uh, it's uh, to be expected. Um, hasn't been recovered in its life as far as I'm aware. Uh, this is the original that would have come with the chairs. Um, now, because it's going in a garden, um, and should there be a light shower that we don't miss, because ultimately we're going to bring the cushions in um, after use, but if they do happen to remain outside and a light shower comes along, we want something that's outdoor, durable, shower proof at least, um, and of course easy to clean because when you're in the garden you might be having your barbecues and your drinks are flowing and that sounds like a good time. Um, then you're going to want cushions that can uh, be easily cleaned. So what one did we go for? Here it is. Thanks for watching. Before we go, uh, just check this out. We picked up this cable drum. Can't wait to change that into something unique. Thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe for travel and more restoration uh, as we vlog our way through. Thank you so much. Bye for now.